had Mauro Portillo up top, five goals in the Central American zone qualifying for this side. Yeah, he's a guy that could give the U.S. fits. They'll have to deal with him. Guys like Vickers and Miazga will have to deal with him, especially in the air. Very good in the air, Portillo. We'll see how this Guatemalan side handles the pressure that would be in Kingston, Jamaica for the kickoff. The United States taking on Guatemala here in the CONCACAF U-20 championships on Fox Sports. Referee Henry Bejar off his foot. Jameson, speed to run it down. Good defending there, Estrada cut it off. And the key to that play, your left-sided attacker, Romain. Good flick on header there, Thompson runs on it. Gets past the defender, into the 18. Thompson with his head up. Ariola. Just inside the penalty spot. Goal. He put it on his foot to shoot, and we're near goal. Jamison. Jamison, left footed shot is blocked. This is very good pressure on the ball right now by the U.S. Even though there's a foul here, it sends a message here, Dave. 2012. Here's Mikhail. Good ball. Thompson makes a nice run near side. Trying to get a bit fancy there. Estrada knocked it out of play. And Thompson's been very active so far. We've seen him make more with support. Looks for Junior Flores just too far. You know, people talk about the one team that's missing in this tournament, right? It's Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Everyone wanted to hold his name uh, last couple of minutes. See if we can get him involved in the game as well. Knockdown header there from Ball. Still in the U.S. possession. Shaquille Moore running up. Flores knew what he wanted to do there with Gall on this near side. Jamison still pressuring. Gall. Just too far for Jamison. Can he run it down? Oh, and Hagen comes off his line and barely gets to that before Bradford Jamison. And the attack going back. I think it's coming for the U.S., but certainly have to be aware of the counterattack. And as you mentioned, Dave, a couple minutes ago, this Guatemalan team woke up a little bit. You can catch that game on Sunday, 5.30 p.m. So if you do have a slip-up, you have an opportunity to, to make up for it in future games. The United States came into this tournament playing very well as a group. So with the layoff there, Flores did not read that. Guatemala back on the ball with Andy Ruiz. But I like the idea. I think they need to, the U.S. needs to get a little bit more of that. Maybe hold it up for another touch in order to make a better pass to Flores. But Flores needs to get involved in the game a little bit more. Cameron Carter Vickers cleaning that up for the U.S. defensively. Bangs it forward. There's Jameson. You see, Jameson has at least three to four inches on every defender there for Guatemala in the back. Keep trying to target him up front. Good pass here. Good change of direction. With space. Oh, that first touch. Does it get away from him? Keeps it in. But really could do very little with it once that first touch got away from him. And Guatemala is able to clean up defensively. He'll want that touch back. But this box, as we see the foul here on Gaul. Looks like but he stepped up. likes the ball in the air. He's not bigger than these two central defenders, but he'll go up and challenge. Into the area, Thompson. Good fight. Can he keep it in? He does. Thompson. Headed away defensively. Guatemala have another opportunity. It doesn't look like it. And the referee says that's it. He blows the first half dead. Guatemala immediately coming out a little more forward in the second half than they did throughout most of the first half. There you see the United States in the traditional red. Ortiz with that opportunity and pressure a little bit more. See what the U.S. does as well. I would think from a U.S. standpoint, from a you know, Guatemala, but the U.S. is on the attack. Thompson wants to get it back to Moore. Remember, it was Moore's running down that side that set up that corner kick for the U.S. 
this time he's going to looks like he's going to be whistled for a foul here. Boy, Moore has some engine, and we, engine, and we should note, Dave, that in December the U.S. took uh, eight players, the players that were playing in Major League Soccer, down to Florida just for a fitness camp. He said some work rate this game, but uh, Tab Ramos talked about how important that was because some of the players that were playing professionally in other places, other he thought the camp was outstanding because they could focus on individual needs with only eight guys in camp. And they come pretty quickly, too. Every other day, essentially. Jameson on the ball from Carter Vickers. A little far for Bradford Jameson. Up and Costa with a good effort in the midfield. Again, leaves it a little shy for Thompson. A little ragged here. And that ball goes out of play. No, it doesn't. 1v1 with Maltis. Cuts inside with the pass. That's a good look to Gooch. It's going to be a corner kick for the United States. Looked like a good turn. Finds Arioli. He's got some help in the middle. It was Lyndon Gooch, but the pass again cut off. It will be a corner kick, but Arioli, you can tell he was front for this U.S. team. 86 minute now. Forward here. Still have a couple of minutes left. We talked about it in the first half. Guatemala was either going to be on the break or was going to be on a restart. This one ended coming on a second opportunity. And indeed, it does. The referee blows the whistle on this one. The United States won. Guatemala won. Tony, this has to feel like a loss for Tab Ramos. Absolutely. They were in complete control of this game from the first minute.